Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! How are you guys doing? So uh, yeah, today I uh, just thought I'd make this little video, a uh, little bit of a channel update really. I've uh, never done a channel update because, uh, well, you know, there's not really much to update normally. It's normally, well, there's more Borderlands content for you guys and uh, yeah, guess what? We'll still be playing Borderlands. So uh, yeah, it's a bit of a, uh, not really a one game channel because I, uh, I do have a couple of... Uh, well, there's three Borderlands games that I actually uh, cover on my channel. I've done a bit of uh, other games before as well, like uh, Dying Light and a bit of Minecraft and things like that. But never really focused on other games as much as I have with uh, Borderlands. So uh, that's why you'll mainly see Borderlands content on my channel. But uh, yeah, I've got a couple of little updates for you guys and uh, just things that I want to uh, just talk about and share and uh, maybe... You know, just actually update you guys on what's coming in the future, what I plan to do and things like that. And uh, just have a general chat about the channel. So, uh, yeah, a couple of topics of conversation uh, in mind today. Um, but we'll start off with Borderlands itself. So, uh, as you guys know, I cover a lot of Borderlands videos. Uh, I've done absolutely, well, nearly a thousand, I think, now uh, of actual Borderlands videos alone. And... Uh, yeah, mainly Borderlands 2, the bulk of them, but uh, I've done a lot of the pre-sequel as well, even though not a lot of people uh, enjoy the pre-sequel. Um, I can see why, totally. I've said this a million times before, but, uh, I mean, I'm still making videos on it, still finding things out, still finding things to do and that. So, uh, don't worry, there will still be plenty of Borderlands content uh, going. I'm still uploading uh, at least one video a day at the minute uh, of bo pure Borderlands, when uh, a lot of people have actually run out of content. And uh, believe it or not, I've actually got a lot of uh, things still to do, like um, I've got my Legendary run to finish on pre-sequel, I've got my Legendary run to go back to on Borderlands 2, uh, I've got loads of little farming routes and things like that to do, um, but I'm also kicking off the Ultimate Farming routes on the pre-sequel, that was uh, quite a good successful series I did on uh, Borderlands 2 that people enjoyed. So I've got a whole, you know, every level of that to do, I've got my top 5 still coming out which we've only just really started. Um, what else? There's just, just loads of things. Oh yeah, character builds. I mean, I've never done character builds and downloads and stuff like that before. I think I'm going to look into uh, that as well for you guys, so you can uh, actually download characters that I, you know, or just even just covering builds and things like that. Just so uh, gives a bit of variety of play and things like that. Still got my Back to Borderlands, my little completionist thing that I'm only about three or four episodes in and uh, stopped because of uh, a lot of pre-sequel content come out at once. So uh, the DLC. And uh, also the uh, Borderlands 2 Ultimate Vault Hunter mode Legendary Run, which is absolutely mega. The support on that is brilliant. I, uh, I really appreciate everyone uh, guessing for the next episode how many runs it's going to be. I mean, that loot event was so fun. I, I really did enjoy that. Um, coming towards the end of it now, I think we've got about 10 episodes left, maybe uh, a bit more. But uh, yeah, really enjoying that. So uh, yeah, I just thought I'd start off by just saying Borderlands you know, daily Borderlands videos will still keep coming for the uh, very foreseeable future. Um, I could see it at least for the next couple of months easily, probably a bit more. I mean, I do have quite a lot of ideas, like I've said. But it is a long way till Borderlands 3 now. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to keep up the uh, the the good videos forever. I mean, there's still things you can go back and do and a bit of messing around and things like that. But uh, for see a, you know, for six months' time, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, produce daily videos that are uh, still interesting or helpful so uh, we have to move on to uh, maybe other things and luckily uh, we have got another thing um, to actually uh, cover but I'll get to that in uh, you know in a bit but first the, one of the main things I want to talk about is uh, my 10,000 subscriber special so uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a, you know just a Q&A uh, on that I did one at 5,000 subs as well which uh, was probably back in September actually thinking about it because uh, I yeah I was uh, actually on holiday in Corfu at the time in Greece uh, so I remember hitting 5,000 subs and um, getting that video done just before I actually set off for holiday so uh, thinking back on it now you know to get 10,000 subs by uh, by June you know, some people would be uh, think, oh, nine months, 5,000 subs, that's bad for a growing channel. I'm, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I mean, when I hit 1,000 subs, I was like, wow, this is blowing my mind. So uh, to get to 10,000 nearly is uh, unbelievable. So I believe I'm about 8,000, no, 9,800 and 
40 or something like that as I'm uh, as I'm uh, recording this right now. So we've got about 160 subs left. So I'm predicting it's going to be uh, maybe less than a week and then I uh, actually hit 10,000 subs. Might be more, you know, we don't know. But uh, for now, um, I would like to basically get your questions in. So uh, put, pop a question in a thread or anything like that in any video really. I'll uh, try and keep on top of them really. But if you could probably... Uh, Either give them to me on Twitter. My Twitter's in the uh, in the description. I think it's like uh, at double O the Messiah double O, same as my YouTube name anyway. Or just pop your question down below in uh, the comments, and uh, yeah, I will cover every single one. I uh, don't know what I'm going to do for it quite yet. I might do just an all-in-one boss run or a farming, you know, an almighty farming route, something like that, or just go and just kill every boss in the game. Uh, in Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel, I could probably do that as well, it'd probably take me a long time, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get something done, but the main part of it is, uh, you know, a Q&A special, I think, uh, just ask me absolutely anything, you know, it doesn't have to be about gaming or out like that, as long as it's, uh, you know, not too <laughs> weird, uh, in fact, no, I like weird, sod it, go for weird, just don't go for really graphically weird, because, uh, you know, some people might not like that, but I'll do my best to answer any questions you guys have. Um, however random so yeah I thought it would just be nice and um, also I'm pretty sure soon I'm going to start doing some more live streaming and stuff like that because uh, I have actually uh, done live stream before and really enjoyed it actually but uh, you know my main live stream thing at the time when I was doing it was uh, Borderlands pre-sequel and that was at the time when everyone just probably started getting bored and hating it so uh, although it was really successful and nice to uh, actually have a chat to some of you guys and um, you know meet some of the faces well not faces but you know what i mean meet some of the people um actively while live streaming that uh, i've seen in my videos so many times it was pretty good and it was just you know fun to play and have a nice chat so uh, yeah live streaming will be coming soon and uh, q a special put your questions down below in the comments or contact me on twitter um link is in the description and uh, yeah we'll do our best to uh, actually answer all of them so that's uh, well, live streaming out of the way, that is the 10,000 Q&A and uh, also the uh, <coughs> Borderlands side of it. So, next I'm going to talk about Battleborn. Now, Battleborn is the next big, big game that I'm going to cover, um, probably religiously, like Borderlands. Um, Battleborn, for those of you that don't know, is Gearbox's next game. It's uh, very, very similar to uh, Borderlands in a way. I'll be honest, just looking at it, I'm not that excited about it compared to if it was a new Borderlands coming out um, but it's a brand new game it's going to be pretty huge uh, they've been working on this a long time um, and you know unfortunately that's why uh, Borderlands 3 may have been put on hold a little bit but uh, yeah they're really trying to push this game and uh, it's basically uh, you know it's the same kind of thing as Borderlands the loot in uh, you know a massive uh, world things like that just I mean I think there's like 25 playable characters or something like that in it as well. So there is just a lot for you to do in it. I know it might get boring for some to level up characters over and over again. But I mean, Borderlands 2, I think I had like 12 or 13 characters. Which were all put up by myself. Leveled through three playthroughs. And maybe Andy just took peak all the way up to Power 8. So uh, yeah, I'm one that doesn't get bored very easily. And uh, I'm really looking forward to Battleborn in a way just for a new game really and uh, the fact that it's made by Gearbox and it's going to be very similar to uh, to the Borderlands style um, uh, yeah I'm really happy about it so that is going to be our next big game because like I said earlier on uh, at the start Borderlands isn't going to last forever uh, until a new title comes out so eventually we are going to start running out of videos and these daily uploads will uh, will not happen so we need to cover something else and uh, I think Battleborn is the uh, the ideal mate, um, with it being Gearbox, uh, to keep us going until Borderlands 3 comes along. Because uh, Borderlands 3 could be it could be easily two years away and uh, I'm not going to be able to do, you know, farming routes and things like that on Borderlands for, for another two years. That would uh, just not work at all. So, uh, yeah, Battleborn is the next big thing for this uh, channel. Uh, I'm also going to be um, probably starting a new game soon as well. It's quite an old game. Um, you guys probably played it loads of times before. I honestly have never played it, but there's a new one coming out at the end of the year. There is actually a release date for that, unlike Battleborn, uh, which I think might come out actually before this game that I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I'm going to start doing uh, the Fallout series as well, I think, because I've been recommended that quite a few times. 
and uh, never really played it at all but apparently uh, it's really good and I've been looking into Fallout 4 which is coming out I think in November and uh, that does look really really good so uh, I've taken a look back I've, I've took, well, took a bit of advice from someone that plays Fallout a hell of a lot he said just start with Fallout 3 play that and uh, go to uh, I think it's Fallout New Vegas as well and uh, that'll get me nicely set up and uh, knowledgeable about the Fallout series ready for Fallout 4 so uh, yeah, let me know if you want to see Fallout videos. I'm going to play it anyway. I'm going to, uh, you know, complete it and uh, just get my bearings with uh, what Fallout's all about. But uh, if you guys want to see that, I can easily record that as well and just uh, ramble on, uh, talk through it. And uh, yeah, join me on my journey through Fallout. If not, and I get a load of people saying, no, I don't want to see that, you know, not yet. I'd rather just wait for you to do Fallout 4 videos then uh, let me know and I will quite happily, you know, just sit here on my own playing it as well. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's Fallout as well. Um, so, hey, at the end of the year, it might be quite busy actually for me. I'm going to try and keep the Borderlands content going. I'm going to be playing Battleborn like hell and uh, probably Fallout as well. So, uh, yeah, oh, God, my God, that's a lot of things to do. But that will hopefully keep us ticking over quite well for... Um, for the waiting of Borderlands 3, which hopefully won't be too long, but uh, as I've said in previous videos, don't want Gearbox to rush it, I want it to be perfect, so uh, however long it takes, we'll find something to do. Now, uh, what else have we got to talk about? A couple of more topics, really. Um, a little bit of an update about my actual situation in, you know, sat here right now, is um, some of you may have seen in previous videos, I've talked about um, my gaming room, you know, um, before I was literally sat downstairs in the front room next to a very noisy cockatiel, so she made recording quite hard because uh, I had to record when she was quiet and asleep, which was normally a few hours in the morning. Um, so I was saying that uh, we've got a spare room in the uh, upstairs in the back. It's a second bedroom, really, but uh, we've now changed that into a gaming room. I will probably bring you a picture uh, or maybe a little video at some point of my little setup. Uh, it looks pretty good, actually. I'm looking at it right now. Um, we've got it all, you know, we've got the whole room redecorated, replastered. Um, my girlfriend has actually done a really good job. She surprised me with some uh, awesome gaming decals as well. Um, splattered around the room, so a bit of inspiration there. But um, it's not totally finished yet, but I am uh, now not got a crappy little rickety wooden desk. Uh, we've actually gone and got a six foot worktop, mounted that to the wall on poles, um, and it looks awesome. I've got a new chair, which actually vibrates and heats and does all sorts of things, and it's just generally awesome. So uh, really loving that as well. Um, still got my uh, just one, well, I've got two monitors at the minute, but one's a really crappy temporary one, but... Um, yeah, I, uh, I've got an ultra-wide gaming monitor, it's absolutely huge, you should see the size of it, so that's my main monitor, and I've just got a uh, temporary one at the minute, just so uh, I can have a second one, but uh, I think down the line I'm going to get a, a 4K monitor in a few months' time, that will be my uh, gaming monitor, and uh, the one that I'm actually using now, the ultra-wide one, is going to be used for editing and making videos, and that. I think I'm going to have that mounted to the wall behind the monitor, and um, also getting a proper microphone, not just using this crappy headset, so uh, the sound quality should be a lot better as well. It's going to be one of those proper, um, do you call them boom mics or something like that, so uh, that sound quality and uh, even recording quality and things like that will be a lot better. I'm also going to start recording in, uh, try and do uh, more 1080 videos as well. It's a bit hard doing 1080 at the minute with a 1080 monitor because when you're playing in uh, windowed mode, it takes up your whole screen and uh, that little bar at the bottom gets in the way and stuff like that. Easily, uh, easily to get around it, but uh, I just uh, normally just play in uh, windowed mode in 720. But if I get a 4K monitor, I'll be able to play in 1080 and still have loads of space around as well uh, to. Uh, have things open and look at things and check things and stuff like that. Plus, uh, eventually, you know, you never know down the line. I think YouTube is, YouTube is actually uh, compatible with uh, 4K easily now. So I'm happy I'll start doing some 4K videos. If any of you guys are lucky t enough to have 4K uh, capability to watch, so uh, yeah, all of that and uh, just generally excited about it. I've got an awesome PC uh, now, so you know, my video should start being a bit better. I've just got to get the quality issues sorted out, but I, I, I didn't have a clue about computers when I started about this. I still got a lot to learn now, but I'm learning 
bit by bit. Uh, and with this new room, it's just, you know, making things a lot easier. So really happy about that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Apart from finally, oh yes, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, my actual partnership uh, on YouTube is with a company called Zoomin. Now, partnerships, you know, people who actually allow you to monetize your gaming videos and uh, give you a small amount of revenue for uh, views. You guys should know, you know, about partnerships or even, you know, YouTubers basically do this and earn a bit of money from it. Um, now, my partnership has actually. Um, contacted me to let me know about a little thing they're running at the minute um, where they basically I can generate a link for you guys put it in the description you can click on that and um, basically sign up it's free totally free um, sign up for some free to play games that they're uh, promoting at the minute <coughs> so uh, I've got a list of all these games here now um, it's not going to be anything amazing like Call of Duty or anything like that. They're very basic games, but obviously they're free, so you won't expect that. But uh, yeah, looking for this little list now, there's a few things to interest quite a v wide variety of people. So there's things like World of Tanks, War Thunder, Echo of Soul. One I've just been playing at the minute, actually. Uh, it's a bit like Call of Duty, or no, it's a bit, actually, I'd say it's more a bit like Counter Strike. Uh, it's called Piercing Blow. Uh, really good, that one, actually. I'm quite enjoying that at the minute. I'm going to start doing a few videos on that as well. We've got um, a Star Trek Delta Rising Online, Forge of Empires, them kind of games. You know the ones you normally get on Android or things like that. There's quite a few of these here. Rail Nation for those uh, train lovers of yours. Um, Tribal Wars. Let's keep going. Empire Universe. Uh, what's that one? Shards of War. Wow, that one looks uh, quite good. Allegiance of Valiant of Arms. Allegiance of Valiant. That's it. Uh, Grand Prix Racing. Duty of Heroes, Battle Dawn, there's just loads of them. There's quite a lo long list of uh, these games. And uh, yeah, basically all I have to do is um, put these links in the description or uh, of a video for you guys. You guys can then go and click on it, uh, sign up to that game, again totally free, and uh, then download it onto your computer and you can play all these games totally, totally free. Uh, now, I'm not going to say that there's nothing in it for me, because basically there's no pressure here at all but uh, basically if I get referrals for this I get a small amount of uh, revenue as well on top of my um, on top of my you know viewings revenue but uh, yeah it's free for you guys to play so if you want to do that and want to help me out a little bit get me uh, get me a small amount of revenue uh, I'm not I am honestly not preaching for money here or anything like that I don't want you guys to feel like you have to anything like that but i just thought i'd share this with you and get you some uh, free games to play as well and uh, any money i do earn on any of these videos uh, or any of this uh, games always goes back into my setup it bought me my brand new pc it bought me my monitor obviously that's benefiting me but it's benefiting you guys as well because everything goes back into uh, doing YouTube videos and improving things. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Again, like I said, not preaching for money. Do not click on the link if you don't want to. But I'm going to start doing some uh, games soon and uh, some videos. And uh, I'll put the links in the description for you guys to uh, go ahead and play those games for free. Um, I will admit, there's, uh, that piercing blow, it's, it's pretty basic really, but it is quite a lot of fun. And uh, I actually thought if we could get quite a few people signing up to that from uh, from you guys, uh, we could probably organise a couple of lobbies now and again, and uh, you can come in and play that with me, and well, basically kick my ass because I am so shockingly bad at it. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since my Call of Duty games. I need to get uh, get on point with my shooting again. Uh, you know, it's quite easy to go around in Borderlands um, spamming Northfleet bullets at people and uh, not having to be that precise. But uh, in this, you have got to be pretty precise. But it's a pretty good laugh, really. And uh, like I said, we might do some live streams one night, get you guys in and uh, actually, you know, have a game with each other. So uh, let me know what you think to that as well. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. That is my uh, first ever channel update. Ooh, so don't forget, most important thing about this whole video is the q a special 10,000 subscribers and uh, yeah that will be coming as soon as i hit 10k so get your questions in now i'll start sorting them all out and uh, prepping some answers so uh, yeah thanks for watching everyone and i will see you guys in the next video